Hello and welcome to episode 7 of my memorial let's play. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I've been able to upload a video just because things are a bit crazy at the minute with my uh, work and I've got a job interview on Monday so I'm a little bit stressing at the minute but I will try and record quite a bit today so I'll be able to upload a few episodes to make up for that hopefully. Um, last time when we left off um, we were cross-examining these guys, these douchebags in the corner and they're not very helpful so we have to find out which one of them went to the um, Tullamedes? 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 That, that merchant guy whoever, whoever went to that merchant guy and um, with the mob and didn't get turned into a crazy pillar so let's, let's do that um, also before I get going I am going to start uploading another series, um, possibly Art Clash or the new Shadow Run. I've not played either, but I've heard they're quite good, and so I'm going to give them a go, try uh, recording them and see how it goes. Uh, but yep, yeah, let's jump back into this. So let's question the sleepyhead first. Hey you, wake up. <laughs> Where were you last night? Playing cards. And? Drinking. The whole evening? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Um. I'll ask him another question. You spent the whole evening here playing cards and drinking? I don't know. Maybe. That's all I'm going to get out of him. Okay, so... At some point he was drinking and playing cards, but then he's obviously blacked out. We've been all been there. There's... There's Why are you staring at the boy like that? I'm counting the lice on his head. Don't distract me. Did you do that last night too? No. Last night I got stewed and did my father proud. By Swafnir, did I quaff a lot. So you were here the whole evening? Yeah, right in this spot. Okay, well, let's ask him another question. You were stretched out drunk on the table the whole evening. Is that a crime? No, 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 I'm just asking. Okay, um, Lumberjack. So you fleeced your sleeping friend playing cards? Yes. Every time he left me alone at the table, he came back a sure loser. That shows how inexperienced he is in games and in alcohol. Okay. I feel like I've missed a question here. I don't know why why I know that he was playing cards. And well, okay, but anyway, that doesn't matter. So he was playing cards with this drunk guy all night, but the drunk guy can't remember. And the big guy apparently just drank and passed out on the table. I reckon it's the pipe guy. This guy, pipe guy. Let's express suspicion. I think one of you is lying. And who is that supposed to be? The lumberjack. You. And what makes you say that? Because... You were the only one sober last night. Because you played cards. The others were much too drunk. You are the only one who could have made it to the forest. And what if I wasn't in the forest at all? That doesn't prove a thing. And now let me smoke my pipe in peace. Alright, so that... Wasn't right. Hey! Okay. So let's, let's question them again. So you fleeced your sleeping friend playing cards? Yes. Every time he left me alone at the table, he came back a sure loser. That shows how inexperienced he is in games and in alcohol. Okay, so at some point this guy left the table. I missed that before. Every time he left, the other guy won. What about this one? You were stretched out drunk on the table the whole evening. Is that a crime? No, 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 I'm just asking. You spent the whole evening here playing cards and drinking? I don't know. Maybe. 
That's all I'm going to get out of him. Okay, so it must be the sleeping guy. I think one of you... And who? The sleepy head there. And what makes you say that? Because he left the table. Ah, I don't get to say that. He's the only one who's tired. The two of you are wide awake. He, on the other hand, looks like he's been up all night. No, he just drank too much. Come back when you know what you're talking about. Then I'll buy you one. Uh, let's talk to Hilda. What can I do for you? Last night. Can you tell me who was here yesterday evening? Everybody that's here now. And then Wolfram, with his sister and two friends. But they say something happened to them in the forest yesterday. Thanks. That's all I need to know. Uh, See you later. Don't keep me. See you later. I'm obviously missing something. Hey. I think one of you is. And who? The Who's sleepy head. And what man? He doesn't give clear answers. He won't give me a straight answer. Because he's asleep. Come on, just leave him alone and go away. Hey. I think. W and who? You. And what? You said you were alone every time your friend went out to relieve himself. There's no one here who can testify where you were during that time. Yes, there is. His purse. If I had taken off, how could I have won every blasted game? And now, leave me alone. Hey. You were stre- Is no- I think- And who- The thought- And what may- He keeps dodging my questions. I'm sure he's got something to hide. Yeah, my fist. What? Who? Oh. <sighs> <laughs> so that guy is shady. Next time I should be very, very sure before I accuse a Thorvalian of lying. <laughs> right, let's try that again. I'm sure it's this guy though. The four hey. I think one who the th and what he's hung over he wasn't even here. He's hung over. He claims to have been lying here drunk all night, but why doesn't he have a hangover? Because I can take it, you milksop. And now take what you've got coming. Hmm. <sighs> Hey. I think. And who? The th and what? He claims to have been passed out here all night, but you said that you were alone every time you cheated at cards. Ah. Mm. That's true. Now that you mention it, he was gone a pretty long time. Shh. Quiet. I have to count. Where were you? Not with my wife again, were you? <laughs> Blast. Now I'm miscounted. <laughs> hey, I asked you a question. Stop arguing. And please leave my guests alone, Geron. I'm sorry, Hilda, but this is an important matter. I know. I was there. What? I'm the one you're looking for. I no saw way. it all. I was drunk and Geron. I didn't know what they were up to. I thought they were just fooling around. Oh, Tell me what happened. Barmaid. Wolfram said the Tulamedes are in league with the demons and merely disguised as simple merchants. Supposedly, they're trying to smuggle a dark artifact into the country. He said they want to use it to overthrow King Ephedon and turn all women into love slaves. First, <laughs> Hartman was supposed to sneak into the tent and steal the artifact and then signaled to us with his lantern. That was supposed to be the sign to attack. But it didn't get that far, did it? I don't know. It's all so hazy. Try to remember. You should start from the beginning. I'll try. I remember. It had just stopped raining when we finally reached the clearing. Mm.
demon. Oh, Garon, it was so horrible. There were horns growing out of his body all over. And he had a long, glowing staff on his back. Just like the princess. Promise me things will soon be the way they used to be. Don't worry. I'll take care of it myself. Will you now? Um... Come outside with me, will you? Last. If the school learns of the demon rumors, they'll take the case away from me in an instant. Hmm. What shall I do with you? You could let me go. We're well beyond that point. Do you also believe it was a demon? And why am I asking you? You probably believe everything you're told. <laughs> a demon in Andergas? That's quite unheard of. It would certainly stir things up around here. That it would, indeed. All right, it's decided. What? Here's charcoal and parchment. Have Hilda draw you a picture of the attacker. We have to know exactly what we're dealing with here. We? Then find out what the beast wants. Maybe there's something we can use as bait. As bait? Right. And third, I need an astral accumulator. Well, my own astral energy probably won't be sufficient. Sufficient? For what? We need to be well prepared if we're going to set up a trap. Do I have to do everything by myself? <laughs> oh, okay. That escalated a bit fast. But... Uh... Hilda, how how did you get in this mess? So it was, I reckon, it was the princess from the story. She's not actually dead. Somehow, something to do with the mask and the staff. But for now, we have to do some sort of trap. So let's ask about the trap. You want to catch a full-grown demon? You're just a lowly novice. Pah. I can beat the other novices with one hand tied behind my back. And yes, I want to catch it. And banish it. Of course it's risky. But I'm not going to miss out on the adventure of my life by being careful. All that's missing is the drawing of the demon, bait, and the astral accumulator. And then we can get started. Um, why me? I thought you didn't want me to get into danger. Oh, I just wanted to get rid of you. I thought you were just a curious lumberjack. Now I know you're one of those would-be heroes, and I have sympathy for would-be heroes. I would also rather leap fully unprepared into a dark dragon's cave and risk my life than spend my day shearing sheep. Besides, time is short and I need help. You could have had the whole school of magic behind you. As soon as they find out that I'm hunting a demon, they'll pull me right off the case and let the masters do it. And I'd hate to let them have all the fun. Huh. Why should I help you? I don't know. You were sneaking around the scene of the crime, questioning witnesses. You'll achieve your goal faster if you help me. Besides, you're old enough to know what you're doing. All right, count me in. Let's I don't do know what I should think of this woman, but if I don't play along, she might find Fahi before me. So, you need a drawing of the entity, bait to lure it, and, uh... An astral accumulator. Here, I wrote it down for you, and you'll need this as well. A ring with a lens? That's another artifact from Alric's collection. It's called a hare's eye, an invention of the Master de Hoto. If you look through it, you can see traces of magic in the environment. Try it. Cool. So we can now see magic. That's pretty cool. Is this from the box that got stolen? Maybe. Did you see anything? These glass shards. Did they glow? Yes. That means someone cast magic on them. Maybe even our friend. Keep following the trail. Maybe there'll be a hint of what he's looking for. I can keep the hare's eye? Why not? The spell only lasts three days anyway. After that, the lens is worthless. And what if I follow the trail and run right into the beast's arms? Then you scream. Good luck. You can find me in the clearing. <laughs> well, that's uh, helpful. I think first I'll go and get this drawing of Hilda. Who have I come across now? By the way, my name's Bryder. I'm Giron. Good hunting, Giron. On a rather unusual sort of hunt. <laughs> okay, let's go back into the tap room and get this drawing. Hello, Hilda. Would you please draw me a picture? Can you draw me a picture of the attacker? I can try. That's him. That's what he looked like. 
Is that a magic staff on his back? Thanks, Hilda. You've been a big help. I just hope they catch that monster as soon as possible. I won't be able to get a moment's sleep until then. Don't worry. I'm already working on it. Thank the gods. Okay. See if this guy has anything to say. Nope. See you later. Alright, let's go and follow those magic shards. See where they lead. Oh. The tracks lead up to my window. Maybe it was Nuri. Or maybe Nuri's been kidnapped. Or we've been out. Oh no, she's still here. Hello, Nuri. I don't want to wake her. Let's have a look. In the dresser. That must be why we couldn't use the dresser before. Well, that makes sense. What's that? More broken glass? Somebody was here last night. Someone who, by the light of the lantern, picked something apart piece by piece and watched us sleeping at the same time. What's going on here? Now, that's creepy. Let's see. Have we got those glasses? Yeah. So let's use our repair magic and see what it is. Doesn't work. Some parts are still missing. Oh, okay. Is there anything else in the room? There's nothing left here besides the shards. Oh, Whatever okay. was here didn't make much of a ruckus. Just watching. Can I pick up the glass? Can I pick up the glass? I tried everything. I had nothing and anyway. I hope that... Okay, let's go downstairs. We'll see if there's any glass down here. The children who emptied the weren't they? I prefer the and since. Oh, there's a bit of magic here. Or is that maybe where we came? Whatever came through here is capable of climbing. That must... I don't understand. Why can't I do anything now they're here? Let's go back up. Talk to the merchant about this glass. I liked Hilda's old stand. Does this tell you anything? It could be the remains of the box that was taken from me last night. Or merely a bunch of coloured shards, I don't know. Oh, nice anything... to see you. Anything special? What was stolen? A jewellery box made from fake gemstones. The junk wasn't worth anything anyway. Then why was it stolen? D did I say that out loud? It was worth a fortune, <laughs> of course. Weren't you going to buy any? No, thank you. Okay, let's see if there's any more shards on this side of the screen. Nope. I can see if but the mages are responsible for that. Just watching. School of Arcane Magic, Wizard School, call it whatever you want. First the students learn the high art of magic here, and then they end up as simple soldiers in the Royal Army. Good thing they wouldn't admit me. Let's try and go in anyway. Hey there, bird catcher. The School of Arcane Combat is only for mages and novices. What are you doing here? Let's talk to Alric. Master Bodiak asked me to come. He has an artifact I'm supposed to tell him more about. All right. His room is on the second floor, right next to the staircase. Master Oakwood's old room. How do you know that? Long story. I'll be going. And don't stray. If I see you anywhere other than in the Master's room, you'll be out of here on your ear. Okay. The Twelve Gods. Prios, Rondra... Effort, Travia. Get going, lad. I know the names of the twelve. I'm going already. 
take some coal. I don't need any coals. Oh. This enables the students to stand at attention here, even at night. Oh, oh maybe I just combine these chats. Okay. So that is what I had to do. The whole thing was an ugly glass box. There's a gap in the lid, as if one single piece was still missing. There's a hole in the... I wonder if anyone can... Um... I think I'll go back to the merchant, and then I'll come and ask... Um, Alric about the box. I think that's a good idea. Let's have a look at this guy first. This is Master Oakwood's old chamber. I wonder what became of him. This time I'll use the door. Okay. Let's give the box to the guy. Does this tell you anything? By fix, that's it. That's the glass box that was stolen. Where did you find it? In the road. Someone picked it apart, shard by shard. Yes, and kept only the rubies. There are rubies missing? Yes, the hole in the lid held a glass ruby. Someone's going around stealing rubies? Yes, supposedly several have disappeared between here and the Midden Realm in recent weeks. I should tell Bryder about that. May I have the box back now? Oh, it, it just broke in my hands. <laughs> oh, keep it. This is all pointless anyway. <laughs> well played, Garen. Well played. <laughs> let's, let's repair it again and show the it to the whole thing guy. was an ugly glass box. There's a gap in the. Okay, so the the princess in the story had a ruby, and it just happens that there's some rubies going missing. Coincidence? I think not. Let's have a look at these straw balls. I don't think they practice flinging fireballs here. Nuri might like one of these dolls. Too bad it's too large to carry. Oh, yuck. This huh. yard is ripe with its very own kind of magic. I've got my own chamber pot for those purposes. Well. Okay. Let's first just go to the Magister. And don't stray from the path. Yes? Hello, Albert. Ah, here he is. What do you want? You're suddenly so cheerful. <laughs> Can't an old man be happy once in a while? I just mean with the petrified people and the rumours about a demon. All nonsense. Soon everything will be just as before. You seem to be very sure of that. That I am, my boy. That I am. What's all this about just as before? He's the second person who said that. But for now, let's just talk about the mask. It's about the mask. What about it? What can it do? What's so important about the mask? Is it dangerous? Only for someone who has a command of ancient Tullamedia. The rest is of no concern to you. Okay. Where is it? Where did you take it? It's my responsibility to keep the unconcerned far from any magical developments. That applies especially to hotheads who consider themselves to be budding magicians. I oh, want dear. my artifact back. Your artifact? According to Bryder's report, you just stumbled upon the mask. <laughs> Got it. If you don't intend to tell me anything more about the mask... We may as well change the subject, yes. Have you found out what happened last night? Why would that interest a bird catcher? Um, people are afraid. Ah, those pig farmers are scared of everything. That's why it's important to resolve this case as quickly as possible. We can't have the rabble taking matters into their own hands. And we saw last night what can happen to a mindless mob. <laughs> I'll be leaving then. It's about time. Alright, well, uh, let's show him the box. Let's yes. You again. Okay. No, I'll be leaving. It Let's head to the library. Hope we don't get caught. Uh, right, what do we have in here? We have a table, a shadow, and a shelf. Let's have a look at the table first. This is where Giacomo and I hatched our plan for saving Andergast. These are just copies of books that I stole the other day. 
So Jack Ma must I'm be getting indeed. tired of these shelves. I already took everything that looked the least bit helpful during my last break-in. For anything else, I should ask Bryder. Shadow. There's someone between the shelves. Hello? Oh. Hello, my friend. You don't look like you belong here. Can I help you with something? Uh, an astral accumulator. I'm looking for an astral accumulator. Hmm. You know more than one might think from looking at you. A genuine astral accumulator is very rare and valuable. A novice with rich parents hired me to steal old Owlies so he could cheat in the examination. Owly? Master Alric. It's an open secret that he's obsessed with rare artifacts. The artifact hunters in the Hisinda temple had better not find out though. Who knows? Maybe one day that knowledge will help me pass my own examination. Where do I find the accumulator? In the dormitory. Well, that's easy. He was very forthcoming about being a thief and genuinely taking money off rich people. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this guy. This shadow guy. What are you doing? What are you doing here? I'm in bed with a cold while the others are running around in the forest playing war. It looks more like you're kneading little lumps of honey. Correct. But except for you and me, nobody knows that. Ah, uh, so he's like a drug dealer. No, I'm not a drug He's a guy that'll find things. He, if you need something, he'll be able to find it for you. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Me? I'm studying here. Magic, combat, bit less magic, lot more combat. Anybody who dreamed of magic as a child soon loses those illusions here. Unless they come to me. What does that mean? I'm putting the magic back into magic. And how are you doing that, you ask? Well, that all depends on the needs of my customers. What are you really doing? What are you really doing? Why the honey? By a rather circuitous route, I came across a spell from Poonin. It cost me a few small favors, but it was worth it. Do you see these honey coins I've pressed? Watch. Harden what's soft and stem the flow. And he's turning honey into what looks like gold. The honey is now as hard as stone, but unfortunately it's still too translucent to pass as real gold. But with the right mixture, it could work. Huh. She's making... Uh, he's making honey into gold. That's quite cool. You can harden liquids? I'd uh, rather call it upgrade. My honey to gold experiment is only the beginning. I'm open to further suggestions at any time. Okay, what about Bryder? What can you tell me about Bryder? Oh, Bryder is brilliant. The masters are all crazy about her. She's definitely one of the good ones. She believes even more in the magic within things than I do. All those piffling spells these days must bore her to tears. Let's see if we can get this hardening spell thing. You can harden liquids? Uh, no, my no, I'm not up. New. You can harden my I'm up. Right, I think that's everything we need from here for now. So we need to go to the dormitories to get a yeah. Uh, astral accumulator. And just hope that we don't get caught. Huh? Who are you? Get out of here! Okay, so how are we how are we getting in there? There's a faint glow coming from the door on the right. Ah, oh, of course. Maybe I can see the spell he's doing with my lens, and then steal it. Hard to believe that mages are doing research here. There isn't a trace of magic in the entire library. Only a faint glow between the shelves back there. Okay, well, you already know what's going on there. Let's try and sneak into the dormitory. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to do it this other time. Alright, so I've not moved this time. So the accumulator is in that chest. You again? Out! I'm re Okay, okay. 
What do we have in this room? Let's see if I can use these strange cucumbers. I have or can I break this strange artifact from here? think of anything. They're already cut. Now it's going to stand on it again. Hmm? Maybe there is a path that I can take that he will notice. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's not what I have to do with him. Maybe I just have to not come down here. Yeah, that's obviously it. A broken chamber pot. It was empty. Praised be the twelve. Hmm? Okay, so he saw me do that. So let's go this way to here. Then this way. And then I'll fix the chamber pot so I don't stand on it. And then I'll just open this chest. A lamp and more blankets. Not what I'm looking for. I'm sure there's some in there. Yeah, there is definitely some in there. There's a glow around the lamp. This could be the astral accumulator Bride is looking for. Oh, right, there we go. I want to know what that strange object is. Fine. Alright, okay. So, how did he not notice that I'm stood next to him saying that, but he notices me touching some shards of pottery over there? That's stupid. What is this? Oh, they both is that the humans. astral accumulator Bride is looking for? Is that the astral accumulator Bride is looking for? Oh. Which of you two is the real one? Okay, okay, so we don't know which one it is. Hey! Hmm? Oh, right. So I think. Do we. Do we talk to this guy? About the astral accumulator? Or do we just go straight to Bride? No, let's just go straight to Bride. So what else did we need? To set a trap for the demon, Bryda needs me to get her the following things. An exact description of the entity, preferably from multiple sources. An accumulator for astral energy from the school. And something for bait. Whatever the entity appears to be seeking in Undergast, if there is such a thing. Okay. Hmm. Multiple sources. There's no way to get multiple sources because there's only one witness. Unless this guy can draw. Was this the thief? Hmm. He carried a staff exactly like that on his back. Okay, so that's definitely the guy then, isn't it? Okay. What are you? Do you know anything? The warriors in the tent, they think at least. That won't do any good. Let's go. Let's go to the forest and talk to Bryder. Okay. Actually, thinking about it, this is probably a good point to wrap up this episode. So, we'll find out what we need to do to get bait in the next the next episode well thank you for watching if you liked what you saw find me a like and subscribe and as usual have fun bye bye